He was still, but only for a moment. The mangled, maimed, sophisticated lunatic rose like a tattered puppet, exclaiming in a profoundly barbaric manner, I am coming. I am coming. Furiously, it rose with a new purpose, lunging itself down semi-crowded streets and vacant alleyways like a wounded but still very capable animal, shining a shiny blade, grabbing the mane of a smoking hooker and scalping her ancient warrior style. I could not believe that it still lived, roamed, contemplated things, or maybe it contemplated nothing. Maybe everything was instinctual from the get-go with this resilient being. I fumbled towards the front doorway of the battered apartment we came in contact with in I reloaded my 357, realizing late afternoon was evolving into dusk. Did the past ever actually exist? I could recollect scenes from a memory. I had met an individual such as this only once before, a being that had the same deadly a stare in its eyes and had been to hell and back. It did not end well. Who I currently was in the heat of tracking had that same mental unstableness, a persona of wicked. In the past, I would retreat knowing my efforts may be futile and would call for backup, but today was much different. Today, I was going to live or die by the sword. Follow the sophisticated lunatic until justice was served. Diffuse this diabolical being's appetite for death and suffering before it became an out of hand epidemic. Believe in me, I barked bitterly above, wishing on a dwelling rainbow that I would rise victorious and extinguish all of the madness. This was my defining moment. I could see him making his way through a basement level window, climbing inside with ease, out of sight as I tried to prepare myself mentally and emotionally, still gushing crimson from the face, I followed like a heathen in the night with no regrets and began to make my way down below. Inside, it was still quiet. 